The defense went first, telling the jury that Dallas Lee must be acquitted of murder, saying there is no evidence that he intended to kill his mother, calling it speculation. According to the defense, Dallas Lee was a sincere and agreeable witness who told the jury how he killed his mother, Tian Lee, on the night of March 27, 2022, but said he never meant to kill her. Dallas recalled how after his mother arrived home from the nail salon she owned, the 21-year-old told her he was going to move out to live with his aunt. He said Tian began yelling at her son in Vietnamese, threatening to kill him and his aunt before she began to throw punches. Dallas said he saw red and began to swing at her with a knife. One of the swings caught the middle of Tian's neck before she fell to the ground and died. A few hours later, after realizing what he had done, Dallas said he panicked, decapitated his mother, and tried to dispose of her body. The defense told the jury that as this forensic psychiatrist testified, Dallas was suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder from battered child syndrome when he killed his mother, and he perceived the threats against him as real. The defense was shown these pictures of what they say show scars from wounds inflicted throughout Dallas's life. The Crown has not proven an intentional homicide. In fact, we'd ask you to go a step further and accept Mr. Lee's testimony that this homicide occurred in a moment of overwhelming fear of what might follow if he succeeded with his plan to finally leave, that his response was completely reactionary as a result of a lifetime of abuse and the immediate result of provocation by his mother. But the Crown argued there is plenty of evidence Dallas Lee intentionally killed his mother. If he did not intend to kill his mother, if it was accidental, why did he do nothing to save his mother? That was the result he wanted in that moment. Recalling how Dallas put his deceased mother in a shopping buggy before dumping her, the Crown said these were not actions done in a panic. They were deliberate steps to conceal what he had done, pointing out how he bought a one-way plane ticket to Vietnam and tried to cross the border into Niagara, what the Crown called prolonged efforts to distance himself from the crime. The Crown told the jury Dallas Lee was neither credible nor reliable, saying he was angry at his mother for the abuse, saying he was the aggressor, and decided to stand up to her, quote, she was abusive, but Tian Lee did not deserve to be brutally murdered with a knife. The judge will charge the jury next Tuesday before deliberations begin. Catherine McDonald, Global News.